Hi, kids. Today, we will learn about various properties of matter. So let's get started. Luster. We can say this monument is lustrous. But why? We will call it lustrous because it has a quality of shining or reflecting light from its surface. So, luster is a quality of shining by reflecting light. All the objects with shiny surfaces are called lustrous objects. Luster is a physical property of metals, mainly iron, copper, aluminum, nickels, and steel. But nonmetals can also have this quality, like diamond, graphite, are nonmetals but highly lustrous. Now let's learn another property that is malleability. Malleability is a property that tells whether something can be molded or deformed without breaking. That is, how flexible or easily shaped something can be without breaking. More specifically, it is the characteristics of metal that allows it to be beaten or rolled into very thin sheets without cracking or rupturing. Malleability is also called plasticity. Example, aluminum is capable of being extended or shaped by hammering or by pressure from rollers into very thin sheets without breaking. Aluminum foil that we all use demonstrates the ability of aluminum to be compressed into very thin flat sheets. Gold, silver, aluminum, copper are some of the highly malleable metals. Very beautiful and exquisite designs of jewelries are made with gold and silver because of this malleable property. Now, let's have a look at another property, which is ductility of metals. This property is known as ductile. Ductility is a solid material's ability to deform under tensile strength. Tensile strength is a maximum stress a metal can withstand before breaking. More specifically, ductility is this material's ability to be stretched into a wire. Metals like copper, iron, nickel, manganese, silver, Iridium, osmium, tungsten, tantalum, hafnium, rhenium, tin, and zirconium can be drawn into very long wires. Ductility is opposite of brittleness, where a metal breaks suddenly without any deformation in its shape. When a metal or any matter is put under maximum pressure and it breaks suddenly without much deformation or change in shape of the matter, it's called brittle fracture. And such matter or metal is not at all ductile. But such metal is called brittle metal. Now, let's learn some differences between malleability and ductility. Ductility is the ability of a material to be stretched into a wire. And malleability is a property of material where it can be stretched into thin sheets. Both these mechanical properties are aspects of plasticity. That is, the extent to which a solid material can be plastically deformed without fracture. For example, gold is a highly ductile and malleable metal. That is, gold can be stretched into wires also, and it can be stretched into thin sheets too. But not all metals may depict ductility and malleability at the same time. For instance, lead has low ductility but high malleability. 
Now let's learn another property of matter, which is hardness. Hardness is the measure of how resistant solid matter is to various kinds of permanent shape changes. Some materials, such as metal, are harder than others. The greater the hardness of the metal, the greater is its resistance to any deformation. We have a lot of hard materials, which are naturally present in our environment, and some are man-made. Most often, diamond is considered to be the hardest material ever known. But scientists have found two more minerals that are even harder than diamond, wurzite, boron, nitride, and lonsdalite. They exist in nature but can also be made artificially. Lonsdalite is sometimes formed when meteorites containing graphite hit the earth, while wurzite, boron nitride, is formed during volcanic eruptions that produce very high temperatures and pressures. Now, let's learn another property of matter. It is texture. Texture is the feel, appearance, or consistency of a surface or a substance. It's the physical feel of something. It can be smooth, rough, slimy, and spiky, or even something in between. For example, sandpaper is very rough. It has a gritty, rough texture. So friends, today we learned some properties of matter. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye! Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.